Hey there guys, welcome back. This is Cam with the EcoBeast Garage. Today, we are going to install a clutch pedal. Um, so if you remember from the past videos, I mentioned multiple times, I think, um, that there is brake fluid leaking out into my driver's side footwell, <laughs> um, which is not good. Um, that is a corrosive material. Um, I haven't seen any rust, but we're, we're probably gonna find some stuff if and when I do the carpets in, the, in this car. Right now, I just need to get that problem fixed though. So. Um, it's a little bit of an involved process. Um, once I get the hood open, I'll kind of show you what's going on. All right, guys. So in order to get to the clutch master cylinder, um, the clutch cylinder kind of comes right down to um, right about underneath the intake. So the whole intake box, the battery, the battery box all have to come out so that we can get back into that firewall and then we can maintenance and bleed the clutch line too after we're done, which we'll get to as well and show you how to do that. So right now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start tearing apart uh, the old pedal assembly, get this all uh, engine bay kind of freed up. All right guys, so we got the battery and the intake box uh, all taken out. Of course, you saw that from the little montage. Um, right back here, and I'll see if I can point to it. Right here is the clutch line. It comes along here, and it goes back in there. And then we have this little, one little wire here uh, that connects up to the clutch. Um, that's likely the sensor um, that allows our cars to turn on and off. They would be hijacking this if you were to do a remote start on these cars, FYI. Um, because they have to take that signal. Um, so anyways, uh, we have that part taken care of on the engine bay side. Now we have to actually take the pedal assembly apart. Um, I think I'm going to disassemble that line at the very last step. Um, because I want to be ready with a catch can or something like that. Um, but we've got to set up some light, um, to see up inside the, the little pedal cluster there so we can get to those three bolts, um, move some of the wiring around, and then wiggle this pedal loose, um, from this side, and, uh, we'll, we'll be in business. Alright guys, so we've got the old clutch pedal out now. Um, you can see back in there, you can actually see the hole. Uh, goes right into my uh, cabin back there and behind my brake lines. Uh, coming around here, I'll kind of walk you through how I got to the four bolts, um, the four nuts, that, sorry, that are that are holding that onto the body. Um, so from the bottom, three of those are gonna be way easier to get from the bottom. So you have to kind of lay your back down into your footwell, uh, looking up and you'll see uh, one of these um, on the far left hand side, um, so closest to the, the um, driver's side uh, wall, I had to use an, a, a universal joint um, to get around a corner, to kind of get around a bend um, and get the, that bolt there. The last bolt was at the very top and I actually pulled this panel out. This is pretty easy, you just pull the weather stripping back a little bit, get a panel remover tool around the front edge of this and just pop this out ever so slightly and the rest of the clips uh, pop out pretty nicely after that and you can see where those clips are on the back side of it So all in all pretty easy removal process. Um, I had to dis uh, Disconnect the hydraulic line and the power line first uh, As well as a supply line for the reservoir um, Just so that we could kind of wiggle the pedal out um, the pedal has to be compressed all the way in uh, to get it in or out. There's no way to actually we weasel this up in there uh, without disassembling the whole dash and I'm really glad uh, that it wasn't that involved. I was worried there for a second. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the new pedal up in there and then we'll we'll see where we're at. All right guys, this is actually day two of the process. Um, we are still working on the clutch. Um, after we got the pedal installed and got that first supply line uh, installed into it, um, it was leaking fluid right out, right behind the C-clip. So um, that whole line um, right behind it is actually getting replaced today. And we're gonna try and pump the clutch up. Um, the other way, actually, we're also gonna use a siphon hose. I'll show you how that is done. And uh, we'll, we'll see where we're at at that point. All right, so um, as I explained, uh, we got this first line here, um, which this uh, end, of course, up here goes uh, to the 
uh, clutch, uh, cil uh, clutch pedal, um, and then the other side goes um, to the rest of the hosing. Um, it's a two-part line. It goes from this down to another line, and then it goes into a third part, which is actually where it connects down into um, the the slave cylinder for the clutch. Um, but right now we're we're just uh, go ahead. I got more dot four brake fluid because um, we were running out. And this is the siphon hose. So one of these ends we'll actually be able to tr test to make sure which end pumps and which uh, side is the check valve side. Um, and we'll, what we'll be doing is we'll be pumping it actually through the bleed valve and up into the system. So we'll show you how that works and, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll have some better success with that. But um, stay tuned, I'm gonna go ahead and get the car opened up and we'll, we'll get started. All right guys, so I just wanna show you guys where this line is. So you can see the old line here. I haven't taken it out yet because I want to show you where it buckles up. So it clips down here. It actually has that little uh, grommet built into it, so it actually uh, mounts right onto the back uh, front side of the firewall, actually. Um, and then it goes right into the um, pedal cluster down there. So you kind of have to reach behind your brake lines. These are your brake lines. This is your ABS. I had to unplug the ABS. Don't forget to plug that back in. I just have it hanging down here out of the way. Um, so, but when you take that um, C-clip off, you have to push it down on both sides. Um, the side closest here on the driver's side, you can kind of get your finger in there. As you can see, I'm touching it right now. The other side, it's a little harder because you have this bracket in the way. So what I did is I just took a simple flathead screwdriver, kind of wiggle it up, and you can kind of get a little bit of leverage, and you just kind of push that one edge of the clip and you'll see it you can just barely get the edge of it so be very careful very gentle hands um and that that's how i got that c clamp uh, off but but now as you can see this just slides right out afterwards um so this will be a pretty quick uh part change i don't expect it to take very long and then we'll we'll try uh, pump the clutch up all right guys well i found something new um uh, that was kind of different so here we are this is the brand new part that i just got from ford um, and when I took this first cap off to look at this tip, notice how these two are different. Well, I found out that this is probably why I was having my leak problem back here, and that this line actually is probably fine. So I will keep that. I'm not going to put it back on the car. I'm going to actually just reassemble it. What I found out was that this little tip was actually stuck inside the pedal. And so I was able to get in there with like a really tiny little Allen key wrench and just got a little piece of it to dig it out. And here it is. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to put that back on here. Um, and then if we do end up ever needing this part, um, or if my friends end up needing this part, see that's actually like a spring loaded that then kind of sandwiches up on there. So, yep, um, that was the missing piece. All right, guys. So it was a very quick install. Um, we already got that new line in there already. So we're good to go. Um, I've got the wonderful help of my sister uh, to help me. Uh, pump and bleed the clutch here now um, to get fluid into the system So what we're gonna have Mariah do on this is we're gonna have her actually use her hand Because um, the puddle pe pedal won't have any stiffness to it at the start It's got to pump that fluid into the system first So we're, we're gonna have her go ahead and when I'm gonna say pedal down She's gonna push it all the way down to the floor with her hand and then Let me know when it's all the way down just say it's down and then I'll adjust the bleed valve and I'll say pedal up and she'll just slowly pull it back up sucking fluid back in the system, say pedal up, and we'll kind of go through that motion a couple times. Then at the very last end, and I'll let her know when, is we're gonna actually do five pumps. At this point, I keep the bleed valve closed. She's gonna go one, two, three, four, and on the fifth pump, she's gonna hold it down on the ground and then tell me when it's down. At that point, I'm gonna release that little bleed valve, let all that air out of the system, tighten it back up and then we can continue that process a couple times if you do this at home it should only take about 30 minutes at the very max and that's for a very air filled system this will probably be a little bit like that but i'm hoping we we don't take long all right guys so we have uh the clutch bled now um we got stiffness in the pedal now it's uh actually about reassembly time um, if we ever need to, uh, we won't have to take the battery out, of course, to get to the actual um, bleed line. Um, just the intake has to come out to get to this little part down here. So um, I had a little bottle. Of course, it didn't really serve too, too well. We still got a little bit of splatter there. So I'm going to wipe that up before we reassemble everything. Um, but all in all, it took, like I said, about 25 minutes, give or take, um, to get everything uh, bled out of the clutch. So 
Um, now we're just going to go ahead. Um, you can watch us uh, go ahead and reassemble the engine now. Alright guys, well, we that's our episode for today. Um, we got the clutch pedal installed, got that extra line put in there as well. Um, bled the clutch and everything is stiff. Uh, the car drives great, the clutch pedal is real snappy. Um, it, it took me by surprise actually when I first backed out of the driveway. Um, and uh, something that I, I, of course, we actually had the same problem actually with, with Austin's RS. Um, there is a vacuum line, make sure, you know, you have to take kind of take it off of the intake side. Uh, whenever you're you're doing the uh, intake piping, you have to kind of wrap it around the outside of the, the intake pipe. Um, almost had an oopsie moment where I forgot to put that line back on, uh, but we fixed it. Everything's running great. Um, I haven't had the message, of course, come up for the fluid, and um, I'm going to check here in a little bit here. I don't think I shouldn't have any leaks or anything inside the cabin anymore. So um, definitely very successful build. Um, had me frustrated there for a minute. Um, but uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Uh, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the new content from EcoBeast Garage. But until then, we'll see you soon.